section I'm so depressed and I don't know the reason Just wanna feel better Hate my reflection When I look at you all I see is perfection I'm so depressed and I don't know the reason Just hope I feel better Don't know the reason Just hope I feel better few things I want to talk about uh, our experience about our dog his name is Thor um, most of you know that we have a pet dog and uh, and I'm here to talk about our experience um, being in Puerto Rico without him so let's see so booking, booking a fly for a dog. Um, fortunately, he's not a service dog, so I had to. Um, he had to fly in the cargo area, and um, the only planes that would allow it right now that would fly to Puerto Rico is American Airlines, and American Airlines, unfortunately, is. Uh, they connect uh, in Miami. They don't do direct flight to Puerto Rico. So we try to book our flight together with him, but I didn't like American Airlines first of all because they're overpriced. It's too expensive, especially considering that it's, it's making one stop or even two stops are super expensive compared to other flights that were pretty damn cheap flying directly, you know, nonstop. So we did just that. So our plan was to schedule him to American Airlines uh, by himself. And then we would take another flight directly to Puerto Rico and then wait for him in Puerto Rico uh, when he lands, when he arrives. Um, but there was a problem. But before the problem, I want to talk about the, hmm. what do you call it, the health certificate. Uh, <clears throat> this is the first attempt on the health certificate. Before the book and the flight, I mean, I know that a health certificate was required for him to be able to fly to Puerto Rico. So I took care of that first. I scheduled an appointment in the States and then I was able to get a health certificate. Everything went smooth. I mean, it's health certificate aren't cheap. All right. But everything went smooth. And then I figured, all right, I got a health certificate. Now I got to book a flight. And in, in order for you to book a flight, once you get a health certificate, it, it has to be within 10 days is they gave you the health certificate so you got 10 day period to book a flight and uh, so I'm like alright so I got 10 days cool no problem I'm going to book a flight hey, so once I tried booking a flight uh, first of all there was a heat wave heat wave in Miami because you know remember I told you first uh, American Airlines do connect in Miami and then Puerto Rico. So there was a heat wave going on in Miami, Florida, and then there's a heat wave also in Puerto Rico. So in order for him to travel, the weather would have to be below 85 degrees in order for him to travel. So if it was too hot in Miami, no travel. But if it was cool in Miami by the time he arrived in Miami, and, and by the time he would take off to Puerto Rico, if it was too hot in Puerto Rico, it's a no-go. So I've kept trying to schedule, like calling every day to see if the you know, weather permits, if the weather will get better for the travel. That's my daughter's back, Lola. So, 
so the weather was a factor and um because of the heat wave they couldn't travel so we try to book a flight over to miami uh, to send it through miami but that was a no-go and then by this time i had already sold a house and uh i sold it uh we, we already got rid of the you know <clears throat> Sold the house, like I said, and we were, we had to move in with my mother-in-law. And it was a little bit crowded in there, but uh, I didn't want to stay there too long. And I feel like uh, we overstayed our stay there because, you know, we we weren't planning on staying that long. But because of the dark situation or pet floor situation, it was a setback. So I had to, unfortunately, leave him behind. And uh, because, you know, I tried everything possible. I even tried to take a flight with him to Miami and send my family to Puerto Rico first on a different flight. And then I would fly him to Miami and stay in Miami with him. But then uh, even so, I, I said, wait a minute, if I'm in Miami and it's too hot in Puerto Rico, he won't be able to fly. And it was either that or they were book, book, book. So I said, you know what? I can't stay in Miami that long for a few days to wait for the weather, weather to, you know, to get better weather in Puerto Rico, for the weather to cool down a, a bit. And so that that was a no go. So unfortunately, I have to leave him behind. With um, luckily, we left him behind with some uh, family members. So he was, uh, you know, with relatives. So he was within the family. And uh, but we were heartbroken because we had to leave them behind the kids. Oh my god! So it was a terrible, horrible experience for us because you know he's he's like a child to us. We have just a puppy, and uh, the kids they they love him to death. And um, so once we made it to Puerto Rico without Thor. Um, we kept eventually start you know started getting calls about thor being stressed out uh, that he wasn't eating he was uh hollering every night crying and um he would escape also he's a he's an escaped artist so he would just run around and from street to street so it it wasn't fun for them um so he went from relatives to relatives. So this is the second home now uh, because he was too much to handle on the first one. And besides, they had a baby that uh, he developed some allergic reaction to the dog also. So they had to get rid of him. So my brother ended up taking him in and for a few days and then... Uh, so then uh, once I noticed, because I would check the weather every day, because I, I said, you know what? It, eventually, he's going to have to reunite with us again. So a couple weeks later, I decided to go on um, and check the weather in Miami. And I noticed that the heat wave was gone in Florida. So I'm like, all right, so that's a plus. So let me, let me call and try to book him again. So I try to book him as soon as possible. Um, most of the flights were already booked, so I had to wait about a week once I was able to book a flight for him. And because he would, the heat wave is gone in, in Miami, and now by the time he get, gets, he will get, get to Puerto Rico, uh, it will be in the nighttime where the temperatures will cool down below 85. So that was a plus for us too. Um, uh, so if I'm looking down, it's because I, I had to take some notes. Uh, so, so now the first attempt of the health certificate was expired because it was after 10 days, right? So I had to get another one. So now I have booked the flight, right? So now we had just a few days, maybe like two or three days to find a veterinary clinic that would do a health certificate and that can take them in before the flight date. 
and we exhausted our times and, and calling and calling. Uh, we called a whole bunch of uh, clinics, dozens. And then my brother also and uh, my niece called a few and no luck. And then it because it was either there were two books and the next book, it would be like a couple weeks ahead. ahead. So you know, a couple weeks into the to the flight day. So I'm like, you know what? I can't reschedule the flight. I can't cancel the flight. I need our Thor here. So the day before, because he's the day before, which is yesterday uh, in the morning, I was able to call a few places, more places uh, in the States, you know, uh, out of town, basically, because we already called the nearest towns. So I found this place where they say, hey, yeah, well, I mean, we got a spot available today at two o'clock. I'm like, do you want that? They're like, you want to take that? I'm like, yeah. So I was happy because I was able to find a place that would take him in um, to do a health check yesterday because today is the flight date for Thor. And um, let's see. So yeah, that's so that's another chunk of money that I spent on a second health certificate. And um, so now, today we were expecting Thor to come in today uh, at night, at nine o'clock. And it's gonna be a surprise for the kids because we haven't told them. They don't know anything that he's, he'll be here tonight. Uh, they're in school right now, except my, my daughter, but she doesn't know either. Um, so yeah it's gonna be a family reunion today and uh, i'm gonna surprise them so we're gonna take him for, take the kids uh with us to the air, airport and then we'll just tell them that we're probably you know we'll be, be there just to see the planes take off and land and, and blah blah but yeah so that's the big surprise that we have for them um but if you guys have any questions um Something that you you some information that you need uh, regarding our experience with our, our dog. Uh, by the way, he's a he's a large dog. He, he's a Siberian Husky, and that's the reason why he had to fly in the, in the cargo area versus the cabin because he's oversized, you know. And uh, to be able to fly in the cabin, it's limited, you know. It's like tiny dogs. So and and he's not a service dog. So only service dog uh, would travel in the in the cabin. So <clears throat> oh, one thing is that the crate. I want to talk about the crate also. The crate that I first got him was an extra large, which was a perfect fit for him. But American Airlines had a uh, they have a size limit, which is uh, I think the the. Extra large was a 30, 30 inches tall, but their size limit and height is 27 inches. So he couldn't fly it. They call it a class 500. Uh, I'll put the link on the below so you can, if you need some information on that. So it, it, class 500 was too big for them. The only the max they can do is class 400, which is 27 inches tall. So I had to return the, the old crate and the, the, the kennel and get a smaller one. And I was, uh, it, it was, it was nerve wracking because now he's head room was, you know, limited. So I was worried about that, but, uh, this morning, my brother was calling me because he was the one that took him to the airport. Uh, he was a shipper. Uh, and he told me that they were trying to get a second opinion on the crate because it was, they noticed it was a little too small for him. So I'm like, crap. Now here's, here's the issue that, the main issue that I was worried about now. But luckily, he called me and they say that they, they took him. So he was okay to fly. But you know they have their restrictions and then we have big dogs and 
any bigger size dog, you're you're out of luck. You won't be able to tra take him, uh, travel with him, because of the crate size. Twenty-seven inch tall is the limit. So yeah, I thought you should know that. Um, I got lucky with uh my dog. Again, he's a Sib Siberian Husky, and uh, he's uh three three and a half years old. <clears throat> So I'll be expecting him tonight and hopefully, you know, uh, kids, I know the kids are going to be happy for sure. And uh, um, I'll see you guys reunion. All right. So stay tuned. Thank you uh, to Amarilis and her husband Manuel for taking care of Thor uh, while he was at your stay, um, at your care. Thank you for caring for him and I also want to give a special shout out to Jose, my brother, his wife Alexandra and Alexa, his daughter, my niece, my beautiful niece. Uh, I want to say thank you all for taking care of Thor, making sure he made it safe to Puerto Rico. And we are very grateful. And uh, again, thank you so much.